Hello everyone, on this video I will talk about the Loti animations and my new elements for Bricks Builder. It gets enabled with the GSAP, maybe you already realized on my team, uh, you need to enable the GSAP with Loti. Okay, so if you disable it, it will remove all these libraries and the element with it. Okay, so it has autoplay option, looping option. So this one autoplays and loops auto plays and loops this one only plays once it will play and then boom stop and this one attach to the scroll so it will play with scrolling scroll trigger G set okay so these are the main features by the way if you don't know what is Lottie it is pretty simple like it is SVG and animated with JavaScript okay that's it that's it as you guys can see this is literally a simple svg illustration but it is animated with javascript loti js and actually we could call, call this like svg animation because it is a svg animation but of course like airbnb called it loti and now it is just picked up everyone using loti term now okay so it is pretty easy to make too. For example, you can use Loti Lab, both for double landing, like free Loti animations. You can go to the examples and there are some nice animations. Some of them like meh, good enough. All of them free. So, or you can use Loti Lab for making animation. Let's say you have a client logo and you just want to animate. Let's say you want to move this flag something like make it bigger let's go back now it will animate if i press why it is crashing i think there is a what's that what the f... oh i think they added okay so now let's click that now it will animate and boom it will loop like that so it is simple like timeline animations if you are used to like video editing if you ever video edit it with your phone or with pc or mac and it is pretty much it like you can add as many timeline as you want and it will just work boom 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 simple and then you can export this and use it as a loti animation okay so this is another website you can find some free elements and premium elements uh, creative and this one icon scott i use this one most of the time they have the most like high quality illustrations and animations of course it is premium i think this is 100 percent premium or something there is no free elements here okay okay let's learn the element Let's add the Loti, boom, 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 Loti element, and then select something. Let's first test the looping and stuff. By the way, it doesn't render on the backend yet. I'm working on it. It, uh, it, it made like some performance issues. I don't know why. I'm going to come back to this later. But on front end, it is perfectly, perfectly fine. Okay, so I tested a lot. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is even production ready. That's how confident I am for the front end. Okay. So don't worry about it. Like if it doesn't show. Let's select something. Let's make it looping. Save it. Refresh. Boom. And then it will play and it will loop because I enabled it. Okay. And then we can make it faster. It has options. Let's make it more faster. It will glitch out. <laughs> <laughs> looks so funny okay by the way this flashing from the uh, animation itself it's not the it's not a bug or anything i like i was first thinking oh is that a bug i, I tried to fix it like but it is not a bug let's make this one faster too see this one doesn't have that flashing that that comes from that animation that animation has a bug okay so keep it in mind and let's use the and we can make it bigger make the bigger height or we can make it what let's select that okay nice 
yeah and it will respect the all the like container uh, outer wrap so you can make this like five 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 same yeah and it will work exactly same easy and let's make it working with scroll trigger so when you do that you need to disable these two option okay i didn't make it automatically honestly like did no need you need to you need to learn this element okay it's it's simple so just disable this tool and then it will start and start an ending on center of the element so let's enable the markers of course when you make scroll trigger animations always enable the markers but we don't have scroll because we don't have space let's add some space nice now the animation will start when green touches green and it will end when red touches red okay easy this start and end positions it is exactly same with the other gsf scroll uh, trigger animations so if you learn that you will learn this as well that's it that's what i wanted to, uh, to teach like this element i use it mostly for logo and stuff like making client logo animating or maybe some subtle lottie animations like you don't want to make too much because it will look like weird or st stupid uh, especially when you are making a german uh, corporate website <laughs> like me so i just use it like small stuff maybe simple logo hover and something like that by the way this this doesn't work with hover yet but uh, I, I think I will add that feature as well. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Like if you want me to add more options, I mean, there's already lots of options, I know. But just give me some ideas. I don't know. Like even as it is, it is very strong. But I, I am still thinking about like hover animation maybe. Because when, when I do that, we can use it as a uh, logo. Like we, we can put, put this on the header and make it a logo and give it a link that's it like client logo easy okay that's it see you guys on the next video bye